I have um, Timothy Mowali, um, uh, a document stories. I believe, I believe in possibility. I believe in transformation. I believe everything God told you um, can be done. So if you ask me who I am, I think I'm not being religious, but I'll tell you I'm a believer. All right. So what can you tell the people that the young dreamers out there as well? Yeah. I think I will tell them to become who I am, to be a believer. <laughs> uh, not exactly how I am, but the person I am, a believer, the attitude I have towards my dreams and vision. I think that's very important about anyone that has a dream, about anyone that is called a, believer, a dreamer or a creative. You just have to be a dreamer because most times what you dream about are always bigger than you and always bigger than the resources you have available with you. So if you are not a believer, you most likely not be able to take even the first step that is called faith. What or who drives you? What or who drives me? Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm not being religious also actually, but I would say God, Christ, Jesus. Um looking through the scriptures um about his lifestyle, it's it drives me honestly and I've been honest and if I will always say again, I I have a lot of people I was able to see and read about them and they really drove me because of the process they went through and how much they believe in God and how God was able to use them to transform their generation. I think the number one person will be T.D. Jakes and I can remember the way I met T.D. Jakes was so amazing. I was in school and I needed a laptop. My sister was out of school, she graduated already. Um, she used to be a pastor in her school, a president of a fellowship, so I just asked her to borrow me a laptop, uh, not because I want to use it for anything serious. No, I wanted to use it for school purpose, right? So um, so there were days I would just go through the system and just see things I can just hold on to. And I was seeing, I encountered this man, T.D. Jakes. I think that was the first time I was able to, going to sit down and listen to his message. And um, that was when I saw, ah, there's a man called T.D. Jakes and he began to open my eyes to how God can use you no matter who you are, where you're from, and now your dream is valid. A lot of people were probably free, I met up probably free. I started going towards seeing people that God has used in our age and time that I can really relate to it. And I can say, they motivate me to do more. And someone I met recently that is back in my head currently is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, um, did I, don't even, I don't know if I pronounced yeah, it well. Right. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Bryant, that guy is crazy. I, I I didn't know him when he was alive, but I saw I saw a series. I saw not a series. I saw a a, a movie recently, a documentary, the the Redeem Team. Um, it's about um USA basketball team, and now they won the Olympics after a lot of years. And I saw the personality of Kobe, and I was like, this is greatness. <laughs> It required my, my energy again. Alright, so has there ever been a point in your life you wanted to keep up? Ah! <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever been, has, won't have to go through that part, except from some legend and some big men or people that are so crazy in their, in their act of faith and belief. Of course, there are moments I felt it wasn't going to work out, but we just have to be aligned back to the vision and this reason why we really wanted to become what we want to and the reason why we are doing what you have to and i think if your purpose is not is not big enough or is not hot enough to refire you for every time you want to give up i think you have to recheck that all right thank you so much